Hey guys, Sly here, and welcome back to a brand new video. And today, as you can see, I'm going to be playing some uh, Tekken 3. Um, out of the memories I have of the uh, Tekken games that we have for the PS1, um, I have more memories on 3, mainly because of Eddie Gordo. He's a really annoying character. Basically anyone can tell you that. Um... Basically, this game they added new characters. The newcomers are Xiao Yu, uh, Jin, Eddie, and Huarang. Um, I actually used to like Huarang. Uh, I used to play him. I used to play uh, Force Law. Yeah, Force Law is in this game, not Martial Law. And uh, yeah, I remember playing a lot of this. And they also added a Tekken Force mode and there's a lot of uh, unlockable characters in this game as well and uh, yeah they added quite a few things like with Lei um, I remembered in the Tekken 2 playthrough I said that um, uh, Lei had different stances that he could take and yeah it took a while for me to do it uh, to figure it out but yeah this dude has like six to seven stances and I think that's excluding his drunken stance too oh yeah and Jin's a newcomer too I'm, I don't know if I already said that but yeah this came out in 1998 a year before I was born and I actually remembered, I was looking through some home videos, and lo and behold, I saw my brother, when he was like five or six, playing this game on the PS1, while all I cared about was pressing the buttons on the console and switching it off on him, because I was a little, little kid by the time this rolled around. And, uh, yeah, I played the crap out of this game growing up and then we started moving on Tekken 4 and then 5 and then 7 or at least I played 7 so yeah anyways I think it's about time we started playing this game shall we so I'm gonna be playing through as Lei because well Oh yeah, they also added Team Battle, uh, which is what my brother played. Uh, so, gonna make sure everything's set. Character change to continue. Yeah, because I want to switch between costumes and whatnot. Uh, select cursor hold. I don't know what that means. Oh yeah, you can set it to arcade uh, mode. The arcade soundtrack. But I like the soundtrack in this game better. So anyways, let's start. I rambled on long enough. Uh, I'm gonna pick Lei. Oh, the game's stuttering a bit. Hey, Eddie Gordo, the cheapest character ever. Round one. Fight. Ooh, that's his crane. St uh, uh, not crane stance, but I think it's his snake Round stance. Two. So in order to do that. You do sidestep and then press uh, square and circle while you're doing the sidestep. You win. And um, yeah, and then you press down, you tap down, and then he goes into another stance, and then another stance, and then another stance. See, now he's in Panther, I think that was called. Oh, I got a perfect there. Alright. Yeah, that's what I discovered about this game. Is the um, nine hit combo that I usually pull off. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that... Um, that bear. Oh, I did. I did his drunken stance. 
<laughs> Headbutt right there. I think it's called Cannonball. Alright, let's, let's try to do some grabs. Oh, she's not gonna let me. That's eh, alright. Oh, there's his crane stance. Boom. There we go. Anyways, we're fighting Yoshimitsu. Anyways, that bear that I unlocked, I think I did it by beating for beating the game with Forest Law. Um, his name is Kuma. I think that's Haihachi's pet bear. I could be wrong though. Oh. That was pretty awesome. Oh damn. He got me. Oh, that's awesome! As soon as I do that spin move, that spin kick, I can transition right into a uh, snake. His snake stance. But remember to tap, or else if you hold down, it will cancel his stance. Uh, now we're on Shao Yu. Round one. Yeah, I kinda, yeah, she kind of has a stance too. I don't know if you could tell, but she she was like low to the ground. But yeah, she's a newcomer to this game as well. Yeah, apparently that combo's off limits. Oh, she grabbed me. What bitch? Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, she got me. Just take the grab. Oh, she's ducking it. Oh, what an asshole. Man, she's ducking everything. Ooh, get out. There you go. Up oh, there he is, Kuma. Round one. Oh, crap. Wow, he blocked the whole entire combo. Round two. All right. Do 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 do. Holy crap! It stuttered for a bit. I guess they can't handle how intense this game is. Wow. I think I'm just showing off and trying to be all cool and all that. Even though I should be focused on winning. Okay, there we go. Paul Phoenix is next. Let's beat the crap out of him. Round one. Do, 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 do. Ah. Anyways, I want to look at his... See, because he has Art of Snake, Art of the Dragon, Art of Panther, Art of Tiger, Art of Crane. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five. He has, like... Oh no, he has six. Because it includes his drunken stance. So he's kind of like a Jackie Chan clone. 
Wraith does like drunken fighting and stuff. Ooh. And that's also cool. Depending on where you're standing by your opponent, you can actually do different grabs. Like if you grab him from the side, it's a different throw. Booyah. Yes, I win. Ooh, it's Huarang. Round one. Fight. There's also a mode called Tekken Ball, but I haven't unlocked it yet. I might do a playthrough on that. Um, if you guys want me to do that. In fact, I might do it anyways, to be honest. Yeah. Round two. Oh, you asshole. How dare you. Pow! Pow! You win. Now it's Hihachi. <laughs> Round one. There we go. Yeah. Nice, got him. That was pretty dope. Oh. Oh, I thought I was going to do it perfect. Get out. Okay, thank you. Alright, now I believe next is Ogre. Yep. He looks like a very muscular Shrek. Round one. Gotcha. Now his first form is relatively easy. Uh, but just wait. And he turns into this big monster. But uh, don't be intimidated, he's not that hard. All you have to do is be aggressive and yeah, chances are you should win. Boom. You win. All right, let's watch his outro. Yeah, well, looks like, um, yeah, I'm going to show you guys Tekken Force. Yeah, there's a Kuma right there. Yeah, I'll play a bit of a Tekken Force. Uh, show you guys uh, that for a little bit. Mainly because I think this video would be too short. So it's basically just your side-scrolling, like, Streets of Rage type deal. I mean, it can get a little frustrating, especially when your character starts facing the wrong way, but... Eh, what can you do? Chicken. I just like it when they say that. 
chicken. Okay, awesome. Yeah, I do like this cop outfit. Chicken. And at the end of each one, you fight a boss. Yes, I did it. With little to no problem. So, stage two, Badlands. Lei Wulong. Lei Wulong. I'm doing pretty good. Chicken. Yeah, the the CPU can get really aggressive when it comes to standing next to the chicken. The game kind of knows what you're trying to do and it does not like it and will beat the crap out of you when it spots that you're near a chicken. Try to grab it. There we go. Chicken. Uh oh. I managed to get it. Uh oh. That might not matter. Uh oh, uh oh. Guys on both sides. Okay. Ooh, they spawned a chicken right on top of me. That's good. It might not matter though. Uh oh, uh oh. Okay. Now I believe next is Huarang. Yep. Okay, Whew. there we go. Uh, Lei Wulong. Lei Wulong. Okay, now this is gonna get really tough. Oh, I'm getting my ass kicked already. What? Ah. <laughs> well, that'll be it for today, you guys. Quite a short video. I decided to do a Tekken 3 playthrough uh, to relive my memories and stuff. Uh, if you guys like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. I am out of here.